Okay, so we look at the bottom. Okay, electroplating. Okay, this one is a bit more special because you notice now the electrode is reactive. Meaning, you see this electrode here, they are metals. They are not your graphite, not your carbon. So meaning, it, there is a possibility that instead of attracting the ions and discharging the whatever ion, the metal is the one that will go through the oxidation or even the reduction first. Okay, but you have to take note for metal, right? It will only go through oxidation because metal will only be losing electrons. It cannot be gaining electrons, which means only the anode side, the electrode that is a metal, it will go through oxidation. The anions will not go through oxidation. Anions will still be stuck in the solution. Okay, but then for your cat, your ketone wise, because the metal will never ever go through reduction. So it will just still go through the normal process. It will still like attract all your cation. The cations will be the ones going through reduction, gain back electrons to give you back your element. Okay, so example, if it's electroplating, electroplating means you want to deposit a layer of metal onto another substance. Meaning that metal, if you want to bring it to the other side, that metal must be attached to a node because you want that metal to go through oxidation to lose electron to become back the ions, then the ions can go over there to gain back electrons to become back the metal. So then you get your whole ele the electroplating process. Okay, so this half equation, if I got copper here, I want the copper to go over there. So this is anode. Anode means it goes through oxidation. So it means my copper will be losing two electrons to give you. Cu. Okay, to give you Cu2 plus. This 2 plus is on top of the charge, 2 plus. Okay, so the copper will lose two electrons to give you copper 2 plus. Then your solution wise must already have copper because no point having like silver. If you want copper to be there, suddenly got silver there, then end up you will choose silver instead of copper. So you still need to put copper here, 2 plus. So all the cation, copper 2 plus, will still be going to your ketone because the object can never break down here. It will never go through reduction. Okay, so it's only your cation. It will go back. So Cu2 plus will add back the two electrons to give you copper. So you'll see that copper got more and more over here. Okay, the concentration of your electrolyte wise, there's no change because whatever copper that breaks down to become copper 2 plus, the copper 2 plus initially from the solution go there to become copper. So it's like replacing your copper 2 plus ions. So this one, there's no change in the concentration. It is still copper 2 sulfate in the solution. Okay, so meaning if I'm going to electroplate something, the object must always be at the keto. This one confirm one, because the object, you don't want it to break down. It will never ever go through reduction. Okay, because metal will not go through reduction. Whereas the metal that you want to put over there, you must put it under A because you want it to go through oxidation to break down, to be attracted to the other side. Okay, so this is the whole thing about electroplating. Okay, if you are trying to purify an impure metal, it's the same thing. The metal that is impure, you want it to break down so that the correct metal will go over the other side and become a pure metal. So the impure metal, you must put it at the anode because you want it to break down, to oxidize, lose electrons to give you back your, the metal ions, then the one that is pure will be at the, the ketone. Because ketone will never break down, it will be reduction. Metals will not go through reduction. 